Many people still assume that there's very little scientific evidence regarding complementary and alternative medicine therapies. But the truth is, many of these approaches can have an enormous impact on your health and well-being. Here are a few to consider. Aromatherapy can be used to treat stress, sleep disorders, and mood disturbances, including depression and anxiety. Aromatic essential oils from plants are extracted, distilled, and typically mixed with other substances like oil, alcohol, or lotion, then applied to the skin, sprayed into the air, or inhaled. Inhaling a scent triggers powerful neurotransmitters and other chemicals that result in an improved mood. Acupuncture has been proven effective in treating conditions including migraines, chronic pain, and insomnia. A key component of traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture is practiced by inserting extremely thin needles through the skin at strategic acupoints on your body. This arouses the nervous system to release endorphins to the muscles, spinal cord, and brain. This can change the experience of pain and trigger the release of other chemicals and hormones that influence the body's internal regulating system. Massage can help treat migraines, improve sleep quality, enhance immune function, and reduce low back pain. Using the principle that touch is healing, massage involves rubbing the soft tissues of the body, such as the muscles and connections. Welcome back to Philippines Uncut. I'm Buddy Kunana, and tonight's topic is uh, laser therapy in the Philippines. And joining us still are uh, Dr. Danilo Delfin, cardiologist, and Dr. Maj um, Gialone, family medicine and occupational health uh, practitioner. Both of them specializing in uh, laser therapy here in the Philippines. Uh, welcome back, uh, Dr. Gialone and Dr. Delfin, to our second segment. Now, we, we ended the first segment talking about the origin of this machine, and apparently this technology is not U.S., Based technology, you know, Dr. Delfin, it's, it's Russian. The first machine uh, that was um, invented was an American machine. Okay. That was in 1967. All right. So by Tudor Maimon. Okay. And then uh, in 1970s, um, Moscow in Russia, they established the Research Institute for Laser Medicine. Then in 1980s, uh, in America, in U.S., they founded the American Society for Laser Medicine and Surgery. Yes. Here in the Philippines, this machine was introduced in 1994 yes. by Dr. Koreksken, a Russian physician, All right. in collaboration with the Department of Health and uh, other centers like Philippine Heart Center and Kidney okay. Center. Okay. Uh, apparently, there was a slow, there was abrupt, uh, uh, campaign for this kind of modality. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the reason. But lately, in 2012, uh, Mr. Ronald Santos, our good friend, yes. established this in Cebu. Yes. And then, uh, because this is very popular in Europe, yes, yes. especially in Moscow, in Russia, in Ukraine, yes. in Germany, yes. in London also, in some other Asian countries. So, uh, and then in 20, that was in 2012, when Mr. Santos put up this in uh, Cebu. Then here in Manila, we have uh, integrated laser and complementary medicine in uh, uh, Medical Plaza Ortigas. Okay. Now, Dr. Maj, did you hear about, I mean, uh, were you aware of this kind of technology before, uh, before during, during your, 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 your practice? I mean, during your years of practice, did, did you hear about laser therapy already? Yes, but not this one. Uh, when I when I uh, work in a skincare company, that I noticed that the uh, derma clinic is using left and right of these uh, laser machines. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Eh? So, um, okay, Doctor uh, Delvin, going back to your experience as a cardiologist here, I understand that your clinic in Cebu has had several cases where people have been scheduled for uh, heart bypass, have actually gone through the, the you know the sessions, the treatment sessions using this machine, have gone back to their cardiologists, have undergone another test and, and you know, have, have, have uh, say undergone an angiogram and have seen that uh, their, their, the blocks in their heart have, have uh, disappeared. Now, I understand in your clinic in Cebu, there have been several uh, sessions like this, I mean, several cases of, of, of this nature. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, 
We have, we have heard a lot of interesting stories of some cardiac patients in Cebu, okay. uh, including those uh, patients with uh, significant coronary artery disease okay. scheduled for bypass surgery. Yeah. And then uh, they reported that uh, the surgery was postponed because there was an improved uh, uh, condition of the patient. But okay. we're trying to document all of these. Mm. Uh, we're trying to ask all the data information uh, right now here in, in Medical Plaza Ortigas, we have a data registry of, the, of our patients, including Cebu. Yes. So we have to find out, we have, we have to find out uh, if there is really a, a, a diagnostic confirmation regarding improvement yeah. of the patient. Yeah. But right now, as far as clinical manifestation, symptomatology, a lot of patients are saying that they are Im much improved mm. after using this uh, intravenous laser therapy. Yeah, but it is a fact, right? You had patients in Cebu who have really been, in fact, I think one, in one case uh, we, we talked before uh, offset was about uh, a, sea, a captain of the ship who, mm -hmm. was, who, who, who was about to get, uh, undergo bypass and it was a requirement for him to go back on board the ship and work as a captain. But then he, he, he underwent this treatment and... Uh, and apparently, uh, without having to go for a bypass, he was able to go back to work. Mm -hmm. This actually, is an actual case, right? Yeah. Actually, the bottom line of this uh, yeah. procedure is uh, improved microcirculation. But not only that, there are some uh, what they call uh, vascular growth factor All right. that are being... Uh, what does that mean, vascular growth factor? What does it mean? Those are components in the blood, All right. especially in, in the endothelium. In that improves, uh, improves the, the smallest blood vessels in the heart or the microcirculation. Yes, yes. So based on several studies right now regarding on this machine, yeah. uh, there are some articles that showed evidence that has improved uh, blood vessels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, improve microcirculation or especially including the smallest blood vessels in the heart. Okay. I understand that we have a video uh, uh, taken in Cebu of some of your patients and uh, what, uh, what, I mean, uh, it's not really a testimonial, but really their experience yes. with uh, intravenous laser therapy. So we're going to show the video now of uh, the video of uh, intravenous laser therapy center in Cebu. Cebu. feeling well. Then I started with this and I feel better and better and better every time. Hey, there's no harm in trying I believe. So actually I was also asking God Lord what's this? I will try and I still need you okay because everything could be possible only when you are when you are uh, included in everything that I do. Ana, kasi noon, meron talaga akong uh, dapat meron kasamang mag, ano, check up sa hospital, uh -oh. yung magpunta uh -oh. sa uh, magpunta sa ano, uh -oh. laboratory, or with wherever, but now, now uh -oh. me and the Lord. <laughs> So, yun nga, candidate nga ako sa bypass, that was a month, a month ago, around 45 days na talagang gusto ko na magpa-opera. So, first of all, my concern is, what will happen to me after my operation? Baka may inutil na ako. Wala namang garanti nga siguro eh. Nobody can guarantee yun. Secondly, 
kulang naman ako ng pera. Hindi naman siguro pa utang yung hospital tsaka yung doktor, no? Yung pa-laser ka, Mr. Tan, 10 times, 10 session din. Binigyan niya ako ng mga prescription ng mga gamot niya. So, I feel better. Mga 3 session pa lang, I walk in the mall. Sinubukan ko yung resistance ko. Eh, sinubukan ko ron, iha. Maganda. So, every day, nagpapa-laser ako kay Ma'am Glor. After my laser session, I go to SM or in Ayala. Yun, tuloy-tuloy ang lakad ko. Tapos, pag medyo pagod na ako, upo ko. Unlike before, when I when we went there, hinihingal na ako. Sabo, ayun, hindi ko na kaya. I'm not expecting that I will go back to the normal. I'm expecting na uh, wala nang pain, I can travel, wala walay kanang short breath, wala chest pain. Diba, wala yan ang low voltage ang kon mo, no? Uh, for me, my, my concerns is uh, the fatty liver, the myoma, and medyo weak yung heart ko, ganon. But uh, in general, okay lang kasi gumiginhawa pa. Yung concern ko is more on my sister. Yung for a normal person, the TSH should be 4.2. That's for yung weather na normal. Yung sa ate ko, since 2009, the highest was 10 something, almost 11. Then, for the longest time when she was still taking the medicine, pinaka lowest is 7.9 something. So, that means hindi rin normal. Kay 4.2 man yung normal, di ba? So, when we came, umuo siya. Sabi na, sige, I will give it a try. Ginawa niya within 15 days. Nag-diligent siya almost every day, 15 days. On the 15th day, she went home and showed me the love test. She was so happy. 4.23 from 7.9, that's only 15 days. Imagine how many years, 2009 to 2014, the medicine that she's taking. Yun. So, doon ako, sabi ko, ako rin, magano na rin ako. Yun. Within 15 days. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. She's now in Singapore, <laughs> having her vacation. <laughs> I'm done with my 11 se sessions and these are my maintenance. Oh, yeah. So, how do you feel on your part? So far, na improve yung liver ko. Hindi na siya ano, tapos yung, cholest uh, yung cholesterol, saka yung ano ko, talagang normalized lahat. Normalized yeah. Siya. Mm -hmm. Very interesting video, doctors. No? I mean, we saw three patients there, and all of them uh, claiming that uh, they feel better, their tests have improved. Yung dalawa, heart patient, two of them heart patients. The other one, high, hyperthyroidism. She's talking about how her cholesterol has normalized, how her, I mean, she, she mentioned other things, uh, liver indicators that have normalized and things like that. Now, in your experience now with laser therapy, you can see that this is, this is something common. I mean, people have really come back and, and, and reported saying that they have improved. They feel better. Their their tests have come back, and they and their tests have come back much improved. Doctors. Well, our experience here in Man Metro Manila, we have our own clinic here in Manila. Uh, some of our patients uh, had improved s symptoms, no, uh, less chest pain, improved blood pressure, improved auto saturation. Yes. Yes. Uh, or oxygenation of the lungs, mm -hmm. uh, improved mobility. Yes. So all of our patients here are, are saying that they are satisfied with this uh, treatment yes. or modality. And, and it's so interesting because we actually saw people hooked up to your laser. And it's, it's such a simple uh, procedure. And you can see they're, they're, they're talking while yes. they're undergoing treatment. And it seems very simple. It seems like something anyone can do. Yeah. And it's something like anyone can undergo. No. So, wait, doctors, we have to pause for another break, but uh, in the third segment, we're going to talk about how this can be applied not just to all the diseases that you mentioned, but also to aesthetics and beauty. Yeah. Right, doctor? Yeah. <laughs> so, more of uh, intravenous laser therapy when Philippines Uncut returns. <laughs>